go, go. <laughs> really? Oh, oh, oh. So here's our little campsite. And then we were right on the water, like I said. Hey, what's up guys? Thanks so much for checking out the video. Got a little bit of a different one today. Um, we're taking the whole family camping and uh, it'll be the very first time I'm gonna use this brand new off-grid Sprocket X trailer. Super pumped to try this trailer out. So if you guys remember, I used to have the Expedition 2.0 uh, trailer. So we kind of swapped uh, this uh, from that model to this model. And this one's a lot more basic, kind of on purpose. Just, I'm kind of redundant from stuff in my truck and stuff on the trailer so anyway we're just gonna get out have a good time with the family we're not gonna wheel or anything crazy um yeah it's just really good weather so we're gonna spend some time uh all together so i'll show you this whole thing at camp obviously but we're all hooked up and ready to go <clears throat> and we got my wife coming and Henry's coming. Dada. You excited? Your sunglasses look good. Can you, can you say hi? Dada. Say hi. Dada. This? Yeah. Well, he looks cute. You ready, babe? Yep. Uh, so, yeah, we are about to leave. We're going to meet some friends um, there with their two kids. My best friend, Harry, and his wife, Brooke. And, uh, their, their kids are good friends with Henry, so it's gonna be a good time. Um, yeah, we'll see you there. Go, go. Oh. <laughs> beep, beep. Can you say beep, beep? Beep, beep. <laughs> well we finally made it to our campsite our plan a campsite was uh, taken by some rv or something but we're here um, our friends are here with their kids and uh weather's beautiful it took kind of a journey to get back here um it's kind of nerve-wracking navigating this trailer through the super tight trees um, the rain has really changed some of these trails and stuff, so getting back here was pretty dicey, but we made it. Hey, buddy. What you got? Henry, what you got? Henry's loving it. Him and the kids are playing. It's so funny. They're taking a walk over there. I'll show you uh, camp, I guess, walk around some stuff. Very excited for the trailer. Mary Kay, you playing in the mud? Wow. Careful, dude. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that is Wawa. What are y'all doing? You playing with the log? Huh? What is it? Really? Oh, oh, oh. Huh? Good job. Come here, dude. Well, we went on a little bit of a walk. I stole a kid, well, two kids, I guess. And uh, we think this is fun. Throw it. Good job. You can see the water down here? Huh? Wawa. Dude, it is flowing. This is crazy. Whoa, Wawa. We gotta be careful, huh? That's crazy. So here's our little campsite. Um, 
Got the trailer right here and have the stove deployed ready to cook some steaks and stuff. Fridge is out. Um, got the dirt box kind of all deployed and ready. But we're all gonna, all three of us are gonna get snuggly in that trailer. And then we were right on the water, like I said, right down there. And it is moving. We've gotten a lot of rain and stuff recently. Also, sorry if I uh, sound pretty gross. I'm kind of stopped up with allergies or something. But this is kind of our camp. And then this is Harry's uh, Land Cruiser with his GFC. <laughs> He'll eat anything, even if it's dirty. And then over here on the side of the truck, this is normally my uh, cooking side for the truck, but since we have the trailer, um, we don't need that. So, And my, my ideal plan was to take the canopy off and just have the flatbed whenever I towed the trailer because right now it's just too redundant. Like I have two fridges and two places to sleep. Um, but uh, it just didn't work out for this trip. But ideally that's what I would do is take my canopy off so I can pull this thing a little bit better. Oh, uh, we got the diesel heater hooked up. Check out that orange, matchy matchy. It's pretty cool. Um, we just put it right in here, which is sweet because the off-grid uh, trailer has a little port here. Um, there's some cargo here. There you go. And then if you open back here, there's some storage, some roto packs for water, some molly panels, some shelving, and then these you can actually access from the inside of the trailer, which is pretty sweet. Um, but my favorite thing in all these trailers is by far the suspension. I mean, it is like seriously riding on a cloud. It is amazing. I've had it on some really tough stuff in like Arizona and even coming out here. Uh, it did great. There's a hitch if you want to bring your bike or something. And then this is the storage. Just some more storage. If you guys remember on the Expedition 2.0, this was a um, Propex heater and a shower system. So this trailer all around is kind of like a build your own. So... The sprocket is kind of a bare bones um, sort of platform that you can add on here and there. So you can get it even without this front section and it's just a little tiny sleeping area. But um, yeah, this is just uh, one way you can spec it out. Definitely has a lot less features on this one than my last trailer, which is totally fine. But um, here's your sink. Here, I'll show you. your sink there and then this is a Dometic cooktop right there and it hooks up to propane which I have so we'll be cooking off of this and then if I come in here same setup pretty much as last time except there's no TV and uh, not a lot of switches or anything in here but again it's bare bones it's lighter it's more I don't know essentials sort of thing uh, the fan it's a big deal so, um, yeah, here's the fridge. Here's what we got. Uh, I'm on the carnivore diet, so I can, I literally can only eat meat. So I've been eating straight meat for like a week now. So that's what we're making. Henry is playing in the dirt. <laughs> yeah, not much has changed from the last trailer. This is like a spot for firewood. I did take off this spare tire because my particular setup if I turn too hard, I'll bind this up. But this is just a quick little overnight camp trip, so didn't need the spare. We got our Zargus box for like a little step up thing to get in there. Also got my fire pit out here because this pit here is soaked. So get the wood up. Here's Miss Margo. We've discovered the perfect kid playpen. Keep him in a tent. What are you laughing at? <laughs> you jumping? Jump, jump, jump. Jump, jump. Jump. <laughs> the 
Well, now that I'm covered in mud from taking the kids over there, actually I already was covered in mud. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and start dinner and get the stove hooked up. So I'm gonna use uh, this propane here and to get my keys off of this thing because it's locked. Everything's harder one-handed. I forgot to bring my tripod, so that's annoying. But I'm gonna take this hose out of the Dometic and screw it onto this one. Sorry guys, I gotta put you down there. I'm a rookie, I didn't bring my tripod. We're going very simple and the wife is eating hot dogs, so is the kid. I mean, we're going like all out gourmet tonight. Not at all. Uh, hot dogs, then I'm eating a ribeye um, with some butter and that's about it. And then we got all the snacks for the kiddo. So let's get this on the bobby. So my very first use using this jet boil system. I left the thing like that and burnt it, so that's awesome. But we're not going to do that. <laughs> Is that fun, dude? Guys, I mean, it, it doesn't, literally doesn't get gourmet more, I can't even talk today, does not get more gourmet than this. Low and slow, right? That's Ariel's thing, low and slow. Don't even need tongs, come on now. Just raw dog. It is dinner time. You ready to try now? Eat the hot dog. Do you like, do you like the hot dog? Is it so good? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You wanna sit up there too, Mary-Kate? Look at little Margo over there. <laughs> is it so good? Well, this is awesome. I just freaking took off like the end of my finger. That's awesome. I would show you guys, but I think YouTube won't like that. So, gonna get fixed up. We are using a combination of medical kits. So yeah, that was fun. I'm all doctored up now. It didn't, it was one of those that like don't hurt really, but it was just kind of tip of my finger wasn't there so that's fun anyway i am seasoning this ribeye with some triple locked and some salt and pepper about to go in the pan and it's starting to cool off but i think it's the first time we've ever used this um outer limit supply kit but glad to have it we got the kids zoned into some toys now what are you playing with who you got? Hmm? So I've been using Onyx Off-Road for about two years now. And one of my favorite things that I continue to use all the time is this offline maps feature. So if you go over here to the left menu bar, you can click new offline map. And then you get this little rectangle where you can drag and move it around to select which area you want to actually download directly to your device. So you can select from low, medium, or high resolution. We'll do medium and we'll name this Canyon City. And now after you click save, you have this entire area downloaded directly to your device. So whether you have service or not, you're going to always have that peace of mind. You know where you're going to go. So if you guys want to try this out, you can use my coupon code ARCOFFROAD for 20% off. Thanks guys, let's get back to the video. Good morning guys. Um, well, I guess we've been up for like three hours because the kiddo, it was, it was honestly a nightmare last night. <laughs> not gonna lie, slept like total crap. This is real life, not making this stuff up. Uh, 
the trailer was fine like weather was perfect everything was perfect uh but the kiddo decided to toss and turn all night and then he woke up at like five this morning and never went back to sleep and just screamed all morning so uh yeah that's parent life i guess for you i'm trying not to complain but uh we're about to <clears throat> about to pack up and go to oart cafe and get some breakfast i just put a new my wife put a new band-aid on my finger and uh peeling off the old bandage was brutal yeah it's still bleeding so kind of a kind of a crazy trip didn't uh definitely didn't go like how we planned it but when you have kids i mean everything throw the plans out the window but we're about to get some breakfast at oark didn't actually end up running the diesel heater because it wasn't it was honestly perfect night uh we just had the little fan on in here this little fan it's still on actually but we were pulling air up through it and even had the window cracked did really well so we don't have the energy to cook breakfast right now so we're just gonna go to the cafe it's like 15 minutes down the street and every time we go to the ozarks we try to go there i'm sorry if i'm not all cheery and peppy i hardly got any sleep last night i'm so glad we went it was fun i'm gonna help pack up and we'll see y'all at breakfast Well, we are home, made it back in one piece. But yeah, this trip uh, was one that really tested our patience, not gonna lie. And, you know, I, uh, I've i always been like real with you guys and authentic with you guys. And I'm here to say that like, you know, sometimes you don't have the best trips ever. And this was one of them just uh, with the kids, man. It was a whole new dynamic. And I've taken Henry before a couple times camping and it, it wasn't near this bad, but for whatever reason, you know the kids uh made it uh, definitely way more interesting but nonetheless um if we didn't have the trailer to be honest that that would have sucked like getting up and down the rooftop tent and everything but uh it was fun look at all the mud so funny our plan a campsite was supposed to be like no uh no trails or anything really but anyway yeah the uh trailer did good i'm just plugging it uh, and uh, charge the batteries up again but you guys know how it is after every trip you get home and you take out all the stuff but uh, really there's not a bunch I mean just some clothes and some food there's a drone see that drone little random side story about that drone we live really close to the very first facility where Walmart is testing these drones for grocery delivery um, we literally get our groceries delivered from a drone. It drops out of the sky, like on Call of Duty, like a literal, uh, a literal care package. Uh, but anyway, that's what that drone was. It was pretty insane. Yeah, sorry guys, I know this was like a shorter video. Uh, it turns out that it is way more difficult to film a video and make content with kids running around. You know, you wanna be in the moment, of course, but you wanna get content, you wanna spend time with them. They're always into stuff. So I tried my best to make this little video for you guys. Um, yeah, I don't know. But please, like, please know this. I don't want my trip to, like, uh, I guess, uninspire you to get out with your family because, like I said, I've taken Henry on a couple trips before and he was never like this. So I'm sure this is real life. You know, this will happen every so often. But uh, all in all, you'll have a good time. Just keep doing it and keep sticking with it and it'll be, it'll be good. Yeah, I really appreciate you guys. If you've, if you've stayed and watched this video till now, till the end, that means a ton. I appreciate that more than you'll ever know. Thank you guys so much for watching. Appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next video.